Hey guys, good morning. I'm RVA Hiker Girl, and today I'm in Williamsburg, Virginia, and I'm down at the York River State Park. And boy, oh boy, is it not bright and gorgeous and beautiful out here today. Look at the sky, look at the water. This is a pond um, that's right across from where uh, you pay to park to get in. And right back there is the York River, and there's a place called Fossil Beach and I'm looking really forward to exploring it. So, um, not sure how many miles I'm gonna do today. I'm just kinda playing it by ear. to Kinda see how the heat is gonna be, cause it is July. And I uh, got here early, and there's a nice breeze and it's nice and cool, but that's not gonna stay that way for long. So anyway, excited to go explore this park and uh, check out some of the trails. So come along with me and let's check it out. So I took the Backbone Trail to the Mattapanai Trail, and this will take you down to Fossil Beach, but it's nice. It's been shaded. There's been a breeze this morning, which has felt amazing, and there really aren't a lot of people here for a Tuesday. So there are lots of trails here. Um, there are equestrian trails, there's bike trails, walking trails. I love it when a park has so many different types of trails to offer. All right, our first view of the York River from the Mattapanai Trail. Looks like there's an observation deck. It should give us some beautiful views. I can already see it. be the beautiful York River. There's a little side trail right next to the observation deck and that takes you down to Fossil Beach. So this tells you the different shells you could find. Just gorgeous. It's so calm today. this log. I think the bank is eroding, which is pretty common next to rivers. So 
guys, if you've ever seen this little trail behind these stinging nettles, that is their nettle. And if you were to walk on that on the beach, you're going to get stung. Or if you're in the water and you walk past one of these guys, you're going to get stung. So watch out um, for these little guys. Guys, nature is amazing. This is an old tree that is dead, that's fallen over long ago. And there's a tree, new growth, growing from the stump. I mean, it's amazing that it can have enough soil and get enough water to grow. I mean, I'm just always amazed every day when I go out and see how resilient nature is. It's kind of a life lesson for us that we can make it and get through just about anything too. So I'm really shocked at how much area there is to explore down at Fossil Beach. I mean, like this, there's section after section. You just keep going around and around and um, there are certain um, spots that uh, I have my trail runners on, which I don't want to take them off. But um, if you don't want to get them wet, there are a few little trails that go behind some of the bushes that are um, touching the water. Um, but yeah, um, it's awesome down here. Spending a lot of time down exploring, looking at shells and stuff that have uh, washed up. There's a bunch of stinging nettles um, that are down here. Whew, sorry. <laughs> It was like three dragonflies, like in a big bunch coming right at my face. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, so I am right now exploring on the right side of where the Manapanai Trail comes down to Fossil Beach. So now I'm going to go check out on the left side down this way and see what cool things I can find down there. So coming up to a little marshy area that's up here. So the York is on this side that this trail is following. And then here's a little marsh area. I love this part, guys. It really is cool. It constantly keeps you by water. All these trails I've taken, there's a lot of other trails inside where you would never see any water, but when you can have a trail, water, and this amazing breeze, and these views, those are my kind of trails. This was just called um, River Access down by that pond. Ooh, can I see the heron straight ahead? Hey, buddy. There's just another little area of the sandy beach. So I came across this and it's called the Labyrinth and if you walk it, it's supposed to bring you peace, harmony, comfort, and relaxation. So why not? I already walked it. It's pretty neat. So after I made it up to the visitor center after the Mattapanai Trail, I have hopped on the, I probably will butcher the name of this trail, Tasquicas Creek 
trail and it is a loop um, and I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear with how far I'm gonna go because I am solo hiking today and it's 86 right now and the temperature is going up fast and you have to really know your body and know yourself well when it comes to solo hiking because the last thing you want to do is get yourself overheated when you are alone on the trail. So I had to be real with you on the trail today. So just had the living whew, scared out of me. So I briefly looked down at my phone for a second to look to see where I was on the trail. And all of a sudden I heard this massive snorting angry kind of sound and all of a sudden, sudden something just took off and darted in front of me it was a blur until I was able to look up and see that it was a massive buck and I guess he wasn't too happy with me that I kind of got that close but I didn't see him <laughs> at all so anyway you never know what kind of adventure you're gonna find on the trail and what kind of animals are gonna cross your path so anyway all right moving along uh, on this trail I'm going by this little um, creek marshy kind of area so I've really been looking for snakes because it's really close and narrow in certain parts of the trail and I'm not overgrown it's maintained well but um, just keeping my eyes out so anyway temperatures are really soaring but luckily, this is really in the shade quite a bit, so. All right, hopefully nothing else jumps out in front of me. <laughs> so hey guys, just finished up, um, ended up doing 6.7 miles. I was actually feeling really good um, when I finished the trail, that last trail, and uh, decided to do another mile. So I just kind of hiked in a shady area for about a half a mile and turned around and came back. Um, so uh, I really love this place. Um, the restrooms are clean. There's two different spots at the visitor center and across from the parking lot that you can uh, use the restroom. And uh, yeah, I didn't realize uh, this was tidal um, here on the York River. Um, so I was able to see some blue crab and um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, wildlife was great between all the squirrels and um, several blue heron. Um, there was an osprey um, down on the water in a nest. Um, I couldn't really tell if she had babies um, or not, although I guess she probably did because it was really loud um, when she flew off. So I guess there were babies down there, but um, yeah, lots of, lots of birds. There was an egret um, that was down um, by the creek area. Um, was hoping to see um, a bald eagle, but you know, maybe next time. Um, they're not always so easy to find these days, so. Anyway, all right, well, come check out um, this park sometimes, guys. It's uh, sometimes, sometime. Um, it's a really cool park. It was much better than what I had, I had anticipated, so that's always good. All right, until next time, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.